Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this session. So right now we are going to discuss about uh, steps involved uh, in a source to target mapping. So uh, according uh, to this Hevo platform, there are around six uh, steps which are involved uh, mapping from the data from the source to the target. So the first step is defining the attributes. So attributes, uh, we need to define the attributes, I mean, uh, the, the data points. I mean, what are the data points should be defined. It should be explained. Mapping the attributes. Sorry, uh, mapping the attributes. So we need to map the attributes, transforming the data. So let us uh, understand each and every concept very clearly. I'll be reading these uh, subheadings later on, but uh, right now we will discuss about uh, each and every uh, step. So the first step is defining the attributes. Before data transfer between the source and the destination begins, the data to be transformed has to be defined. So it should be, as I said earlier, it should be explained. Uh, this means defining which table and which attribute in those tables are to be transformed. So for example, there are around 10 columns uh, we need to understand which column need to be changed. Uh, and if the data integration is being performed, so if you are integrating uh, one, mm, one data to the other data, so that should be uh, explained very well. Uh, the frequency of the integration is also defined in the step. So, uh, if you are joining source one to the source two, uh, so how frequently it should be integrated uh, for every five minutes, for every 10 minutes, that should be explained. Uh, so the second step is mapping the attributes. Once the data is transformed, uh, has been defined, the data to be defined, transformed is defined, it has to be mapped according to the uh, destination systems attributes. If the data is uh, being integrated into data warehouse, some amount of uh, denormalization would be required and hence the mapping would be complex and error prone. So let us understand each and every point uh, very clearly. Uh, once the data is transformed, data to be transformed has been defined, it has to be mapped according to the source destinations yeah so uh, for example if this is one source so one see my cursor and this other source then the data uh, to the source 2 should be mapped according to the data source 1 the data are being transformed into a data warehouse for example if you are transforming you're loading the data into some uh, table those column values and these uh, columns uh, data types should be same. I mean, name, uh, number of employees, and uh, their salary range. If there, uh, if, if this is a three columns, name, uh, salary, name of the employee, and the salary range. I mean, uh, for example, above one and a half lakh, above one lakh, above fifty thousand above uh, 20,000, like that. There are few uh, data points within the column, the range. So here what he's saying is that source one and source uh, to the destination should be same. Uh, their column value should be same. The, ca the type of the data, if it is numeric, then it should be also uh, the numeric. Hmm? So when we are trying to load the data into data warehouse, some amount of denormalization is required. So uh, there might be few errors uh, would uh, come up and it's quite complex. So please be careful in this second step. And uh, third step is transforming the data. These steps involve converting data into a form suitable to be stored in the destination system and homogenized to maintain uniformity. Yeah. So I'll take the example of Excel here. 
give me one second i'll pull i'll prepare one excel sheet uh, which uh, helps us so for example if this is my source one source of the data feed and i'm taking here in same excel that's like destination So let me write some column names, serial number, name of the employee. Salary range. Hmm. Okay. So if Hame is earning around a salary about a 150k, 150, and if Shiva is earning around 120. And if money is around earning around one Hanuman is earning around fifty K fifty thousand and if funny is also earning around one fifty K you can write this as salary. That would be very good. I mean uh, it's not a range, right? Uh range is a value from a to b if i say uh it is from 5 to 10 so the number might be somewhere between 5 to 10 if i say the number range between 10 to 15 so the number might be in so the number might be anywhere between 10 to 15 but so i'm as i'm saying only giving some particular number here so i'm saying it as salary so uh, what is the main intention behind this uh, sheet is I'll explain you uh, let me create a few examples here uh, some day in um, we need and their salary is Yeah, so this is my destination. Destination is the point where we are reaching and a source is the point where we are starting. So the data type, first column is numeric and second column is string character. So the third column is numeric. And my destination should also have the same data type. I think you got my point, numeric. First column, second column is text, string. The third column is numeric. Okay, great. So this step involves converting the data into the form suitable to the store to be stored in the destination system and homogenized to maintain uniformity. Yeah, this, this forms some uniformity. Testing the mapping process. Once the first three steps have been completed, it has to be tested on the sample data source to ensure that the right data attributes in the proper form are mapped correctly with the destination system. So it's saying like, uh, they're explaining like, let us uh, test our first uh, with few samples. I mean, let us not directly implement on the whole uh, data. Let us uh, try to implement on the sample data. And the fifth step is deploying the mapping source. Yeah, uh, it is like a first test with the sample and if it is working good, let us implement across all the data. Upon completing of the testing and successful data transfer, migration or integration can be scheduled on the live data as per the user's requirement. Yeah, so live data is also called as uh, real-time data, streaming data, like that. So they are saying like, let us schedule. Schedule is like, 
uh, we give some particular time and uh, the job gets uh, implemented on that particular time daily uh, i mean we can mention like frequency of scheduling we can say, say like on daily basis on weekly basis on bi-weekly basis monthly basis like that we find few options there uh, we can select any of the time based on the requirement of the client or on the requirement of the uh, business okay yeah maintaining the mapping process this step is only required for a data integration, since migration is one-time process, data integration will take place regularly after certain intervals of time. Hence, the source of the target mapping process must be maintained and updated periodically to handle large data sets and, uh, and any new data sources if required. Uh, this step is only one second I'll read. This step is only required for data integration since migration is one time process. Data integration will take place regularly after certain intervals of time. So data integration uh, happens regularly on certain intervals of time as you schedule. I mean, if you schedule weekly, it schedules every week. The source of the target mapping process must be maintained and updated periodically. Yeah, I mean, they're saying like, uh, have a look on it uh have a look on how the whether the jobs are running properly and uh, whether any new columns are being added to the data source uh, if any new columns are being added we need to take some steps like cleaning the data or um, we can say this word uh normalize the data hmm? yeah so I hope you understood these six points, steps involved in source to target mapping. Okay, let me uh, give a small uh, brief like one second on it. Defining the attributes, we we'll define the attributes, define the column names and what? Mapping the attributes, whether the source and the destination are same. Transform the data. If there is any uh, dissimilarity between the source data and the destination, we need to make small changes uh, to the source data. The fourth step is like a don't go live on whole data, just only implement on the sample data and check whether the data transformation is uh, implementing properly. Uh, if it is working for the, very good for the sample, let us implement for the whole data. So deploy the mapping process and it's maintain the pro main mapping process. I mean, have a look over the job schedule, whether the schedules are being run properly or not. And, uh, and please take care of the new columns which are being added. If at all any new columns are being added, uh, please take care of like data cleaning or uh, uh, normalizing the data. Yeah, I hope you understood this video. Oh, in this video, um, mapping the data from the source to target. Have a good day. I'll come back with some new video which is required and most important your data science field. Have a great day.